VDRL RPR test aim standard VDRL to interpret for serological diagnosis of syphilis VDRL stands for venereal disease research laboratory test RPR stands for rapid plasma reagent test both VDRL and RPR are serological tests RPR is improved version of VDRL they are performed as screening tests for syphilis RPR test is a rapid non-triponymal test that looks for non-specific antibodies in the blood of the patient that may indicate syphilis infection. RPR test does not look for antibodies against causative pathogen. Instead, uh, they detect non-specific antibodies IgG and IgM called as reagent which are produced against lipoprotein called, uh, lipoprotein called as uh, cardiolipin that is released by host cell upon damage caused by pathogen. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by Tryponema pallidum, which is a gram-positive bacteria and a spirochete. Principle This test is based on flocculation reaction between cardiolipin antigen and reagent antibody. RPR test looks for non-specific antibodies that react with cardiolipin antigen. These antibodies are called as reagent. Cardiolipin antigen is a component of mitochondrial membrane of host cell and is released due to tissue damage caused by Tryponema pallidum. In response to cardiolipin, autoantibodies are produced in the body. The cardiolipin antigen used in this test is carbon coated to enable the reaction to be read microscopically. If antibodies are present, they combine with lipid component of cardiolipin antigen and agglutinate. The carbon particles also coagglutinate with antibodies and form black clumps against white card indicating the presence of antigen. Requirements needed for this test are RPR antigen suspension which is carbon coated cardiolipin, positive control serum, negative control serum, disposable multiville cards, disposable droppers and applicator sticks. Procedure Label the rings with following dilutions 1 is to 2, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 8, 1 is to 16, 1 is to 32, 1 is to 64, positive and negative. Now add a drop of saline to each labeled ring. Add a drop of plasma serum to the first ring labeled 1 is to 2 with dropper. Mix it thoroughly and transfer a drop of mixed solution from first ring to the next one labeled as 1 is to 4. Mix it thoroughly again and transfer a drop to the next ring. Repeat the same until uh, we reach 1 is to 64 dilution. Now add positive and negative control serums to their respective rings and mix thoroughly. Add a drop of RPR antigen to all the rings. Mix the suspensions in all the rings with applicator. Make sure to use fresh sides of applicator for every ring so that dilutions won't get contaminated. Place the card on VDRL shaker for 3 minutes. After the rotation of card on VDRL shaker, observe for flocules under 10x lens of microscope. Discard the used droppers, applicator sticks and card in Dettol solution. Let's begin with VDRL RPR quantitative test that was actually performed and recorded in our microbiology lab. Quantitative test is performed in order to assess the quantity of antibodies present in the given serum sample at various dilutions. Presence of antibodies at higher dilutions indicates that high amount of antibodies are formed. When it is limited to first few dilutions, then the amount of antibodies formed are low. Now let us look at the requirements needed. A rapid plasma reagent test kit is needed. It consists of a test sample serum, a carbon coated cardiolipin antigen, positive control serum, negative control serum, saline, applicator sticks, droppers and a VDRL card. Now let us begin with the procedure.
Now, uh, take a VDRL card and label it with dilutions 1 is to 2, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 8, 1 is to 16, 1 is to 32, 1 is to 64, 1 positive control and negative control. Now add a drop of saline into each ring, each labeled ring. Now add a drop of sample test serum in the ring label 1 is to 2 only. Mix it thoroughly with the dropper itself and transfer a drop of uh, solution into the next ring. Repeat the same procedure till 1 is to 64 dilutions. Now add a drop of positive control serum to the ring label positive. And add a drop of negative control serum to the ring label negative. Mix it thoroughly with the applicator stick. Make sure to use the other side of the stick. Now add a drop of antigen to every ring. After thorough mixing, discard the used applicator sticks and droppers into the Dettol solution. This is a VDRL shaker which is used for mixing of syphilis card. Carefully place the VDRL card onto the VDRL shaker. Now turn on the VDRL shaker and set it for 8 minutes. Let the card agitate for 8 minutes on VDRL shaker. Turn off the VDRL shaker and carefully take out the card. This is how the card looks after agitation. Those dark spots which you see are flocules. Now, let's observe this card under the microscope. Set the microscope to 10x lens and observe the VDRL card under 10x lens of microscope. Discard the card into the Dettol solution carefully. Observations Black clumps of flocules are observed against white card. This is how flocules look like when magnified under 10x lens of microscope. Result Black clumps were formed due to agglutination reaction between cardiolipin antigen and reagent antibody indicating the presence of antibodies in the given serum sample which tests positive for syphilis. No clumping indicates negative result.